Hi, I'm Conrad. Now, I've been gaming for ages, so like when you ask me what was your first PC-based RPG, which is kind of my favorite genre, I'll shout out TOEE, for example. If you don't know it, you were in nappies at the time. I used to create Doom and Quake LAN parties, and my first YouTube was in fact a LAN party promotional clip. Yes, we even used modems, phones, serial cables, coax cables for our first gaming Saturdays. In those days, you always had a barbecue or bry afterwards. Anyway, let's leave the remains behind. Get to the core of the contemplative games genre. The contemplative games all have only two things in common. Dying is not a bad thing, and there's zero stress. You will not get carpal tunnel syndrome. So, in a few games in this category, it is possible to die. Well, as I said, that's not a bad thing. In Anna, for example, if you fall off a cliff or if you just walk into the water, you get a gentle rebuke and you resume a few yards away. There isn't a scoring system. And it requires you, spoiler, for example, to step off the edge sometimes, literally and figuratively. Which is why it's kind of squarely in the genre. It's no secret and wouldn't be fun, but in Bastion, you'll die too. And the narrator tells you off, but in a lazy kind of way. Almost like benevolent grandmother chiding you for stealing a biscuit and letting yourself get caught. Ha! Bastion's one of the few games in this category, for example, where a lot of crazy clicking is involved, but it's in this category for a reason. And that reason is a set of elements that contemplative genre games all have. They have to score highly on, otherwise they're not in. The contemplative game is not a, uh, a big money spinner, so you're not going to find them published by the big software houses. The contemplative game uh, doesn't give you hours of replayability and multiplayer or anything like that. In fact, three hours is probably the average. So you're not going to get them uh, published in uh, any of the big uh, catalogs or anything, so they're quite hard to find. It's a niche that I've come to love, which is why I'm sharing it with you today. If any of the games in this clip do interest you, please uh, wait for my next installment before buying anything. I'm going to tackle money, value, and line them up in rough order. Broadly, I'll be scoring on artwork, sound, plot, playability, and later on uh, the value, and a couple of stinkers that I found along the way. Uh, like and subscribe. Quick little shout out to Wizard and Delfredo from the YouTube Creator Academy for giving us a couple of tips. Bye.